Yo, let me ask you something wild. What if your game failed before you even opened Roblox Studio? Not because of your scripting, not because of your thumbnails, not because of the algorithm, but because you didn't understand the player's mind. See, most devs are building from the outside in. Mechanics, UIs, maps, effects, but the real winners, the games that blow up, they're built from the inside out. They're engineered around one thing, player psychology. I learned this the hard way. I released games that, at the time, I thought were high quality. Dropped them, promoted them, crickets. Nobody stayed in game, and it hit me. I was building a game around what I thought was fun, but I wasn't building what players crave. It's like trying to sell ice cream to people who are allergic to dairy. They might admire the effort for a moment, but they're not buying. So here's the truth. Roblox isn't run by code. It's run by dopamine. Every time a player hits that upgrade button, unlocks a rare pet, or finishes a quest, it's a psychological trigger, not just a mechanic. You're not just giving them gameplay, you're giving them chemicals. Let's break down the five biggest ones that drive everything. Progression. Humans are addicted to growth. XP bars, multipliers, prestige systems, these aren't just game features, they're visual proof that you're becoming more. If your game feels the same 10 minutes in, it dies. Every click should feel like movement. Every action equals forward. This is why simulators go crazy. You click, you level up, you double your cash, then triple it, then rebirth, it never ends. Second, status. People want to flex. Whether it's a rare skin, a shiny pet, or being number three in the world on the leaderboard, players want something to show off. Think of it like this. In real life, people flex Lamborghinis, Gucci, Rolexes, but in Roblox, they flex skins, achievements, pets, and stats. Give players something rare to chase, and they'll grind for hours. I mean, I know that I definitely have grinded Roblox Arsenal for a long time, and a huge motivation for that was raising my total kill count. And most other Arsenal players who love the game also strive to have the highest total kill count as well. It's a stat that motivates players because it increases their status. Third, FOMO. Fear of missing out. One of the strongest psychological levers. Daily rewards. Limited events. Login streaks. When a player misses something, it creates pain. And pain creates action. Add time pressure to your game, and you've just injected urgency. Here's a simple twist. Instead of saying, here's a reward, say, you'll lose this if you don't show up tomorrow. Watch what happens. Four, mastery. Players love to feel smart. Give them a system they can learn and dominate. Crafting, combo systems, secret strategies hidden in the gameplay. The goal isn't just to make a game that works, it's to make a game that feels learnable. Where players can say, yo, I figured something out. That's sticky. Five, community. This one's underrated. Players stay for the people. Trading, teams, raids, group quests, whatever it is, Players will grind longer and spend more if they're doing it with others. Understand, Roblox is a social platform. That's why 99% of the time, single player games fail on Roblox. So build systems that reward interaction. You're not making a solo game. You're building a social machine. Now, here's the key. Once you know these drives, you can literally design backwards from them. Start with desire, then shape the game around it. So here's how to study it. First, lurk in popular games. Literally just watch what players do, where they go, what they click, what they ignore, what keeps them online. Just people watching in successful games will teach you a lot about player psychology. Second, read comments like a madman. TikToks, game reviews, YouTube videos, Discord messages in the game's community, the language players use, it's a map of their pain and desire. Third, reverse engineer dopamine loops. 
look for the trigger, the action, and the reward. Click this, get this, feel this. It's always there. And if you don't see it, you're missing the blueprint. So you've heard me describe the keys to player psychology. And once you start building like this, games hit different. You're not throwing features at a wall. You're crafting a psychological experience. You're not just building code, you're building craving. Let me leave you with this. Your game can be buggy. Your UI can be mid. Your animations can be basic. But if you nail player psychology, they'll still play, still grind, and still spend. Understand that? And you've got the cheat code to the entire platform. So if that hit and you're tired of surface level developer advice, this channel's built different. We don't just teach you how to code, we teach you how to win. Subscribe, join the movement, and I'll keep showing you the real ways to grow your game and your audience.